Today's gonna be one of them days. truck if y'all can barely see there's smoke fog coming out of my vents on all of them I don't know what's going on just got the windshield put in and yesterday um, this right here started happening um, I'm fixing to take it to Dixie Diesel and if y'all, I'm trying to get a good angle so y'all can see that. Uh, smoke coming out from, you see the smoke rolling down, coming out of the foot vents. Coming out of the vents, air conditioners don't blow as, as good. This, this happened all day yesterday. It about made me sick and happened to, it's happening now. Uh, I don't know exactly what's going on with it, but uh, I'm hoping to go and find out but I will keep y'all in the loop. All right. I'm over here in Plasky, Tennessee. And as y'all see, I've got smoke, fog coming out of the air conditioner vents. It started happening yesterday on the way home. I was running about, uh, I had the air conditioner button on and keep the moisture and everything out of the system. And uh, I had uh, um, uh, it, it probably about on 75 degrees and I got hot so I turned it off. Once I did I was driving and then all of a sudden the smoke and I'm having to keep my windows cracked over there because it, it stinks. It's not like a electronical burning something because I thought the truck was on fire. I hit the shoulder and I couldn't figure it out it was coming out of vents and no wires were getting hot or anything like that. It's kind of crazy. I've called a bunch of people and try to figure out what's wrong with it. I figured the air conditioner took a crap. Some people saying something is on internally. Uh, could be a evaporate. It could be all kind of stuff. So I don't know anything on air conditioner stuff. And I don't have the gauges or stuff like that to mess with air conditioners. I've never been the one to want to even temp to mess with something like that. But um, this kind of happened at a bad time. We had a California we was to leave out for in the morning. Just had the new windshield put in just now because I thought I had somebody there at the dealership that was going to look at it for me. But um, they, uh, they couldn't get to it. Called everybody around here and nobody, nobody get near it or if they was talking kind of crazy to where I didn't want to trust them to work on my vehicle. Uh, the bad thing about it is I just, in the middle of processing of ordering another one, a new one, uh, ordering a uh, one whenever it comes in, I'll drop some, if I get any photos, I'll drop some photos or anything in there, let y'all take a look at it. Ordered a Patriot Blue blacked out big horn uh, and I customized a few things on it radios and a couple other stuff put some cab lights on it but it's going to be about 120 days before I get it this one right here is smoking right now all kind of crazy uh, on the inside I got to get it fixed we're going to get our California load back hopefully this one won't take long if I get the new one I guess because of what happened to my buddy. I'm try to get away from his truck up here. I guess uh, kind of what maybe what happened to my buddy. You know, his motor going down to his truck got me a little worried. So I figured I have a backup truck. I trade my wife's Jeep. She's got a new Jeep that she likes. So I want to trade it in on this truck that I got. So when it comes in, I'm going to let my wife drive the new truck. And I'm gonna continue to drive, continue to drive this one, and um, at least for an, I like to put another year or two on it. And then when I get it close, right now she's got 262,000, 
526 miles on it. I haven't had no no trouble out of this truck. Uh, this is, I, I can't really complain. This is the first time it's going to the shop that I can think of that I could do myself. Uh, and it, it really had no, no problems, it had no issues out of it. But I'm gonna let the wife drive the new truck. And sorry if it's kind of loud in here, but I gotta leave that window crack. Uh, but uh, that's kind of what I got going on right now. I'm gonna let her drive the new one so I don't get it out, get it dinged up, outfit it out a little at a time, and uh, maybe outfit it for bumpers. I don't know if I'm gonna put a fifth, fifth wheel system in it or not. I may, but I'm gonna make it interchangeable. Or if I do put the fifth wheel system in, I'm just gonna take put the rails in it. So that way I can take the fifth wheel out of this truck to swap it over for the new, the, the other truck. And uh, but I, I'm trying to find somebody to do a, a, a customized fuel tank. I want a different fuel tank than I have in this truck. So that way I can put a uh, cover on it, hard hard shell uh, triflow flip cover. But this right here has kind of got me wigged out right now. Uh, <laughs> Just sitting over there watching it smoke, and it smokes more than I do, and I smoke a lot. Um, but kind of, kind of curious. I don't know if that's any happened to any of y'all. Uh, I've never seen I, I've never seen this. Got online, and I found one video where a guy in a charger was smoking like this. Not it, not. His mine smoking a little bit worse than his was in the video, um, but he didn't really go to the point of saying what was wrong with it or nothing, or even if he found out what was wrong with it. But I am curious, and I'm making this video so that way I can let y'all know what's going on. And once I let Dixie Diesel up here fix it, find out exactly what's wrong with it. I will do an update on this video and let y'all know what was wrong with it. So that way, if it ever happens to you, then you'll know how, what to fix it and what what would be causing it. Um, but I can't drive it to California like this. Turn left on the US 31, bypass uh, Industrial Loop Road. So we're gonna have to wind up giving the load back. <clears throat> but, that kind of was jacked up. I was kind of excited to go get this load, take off. Hopefully, you know, made a good video and everything on it. But I guess we're gonna be sitting around and waiting to see what's going on with my truck. And, uh, but that's an update for everybody. Y'all be careful. Y'all be safe out there. And just as soon as I find out what's going on, I'll make a video for an update and put it out there. So if you have smoke fog coming through your air conditioner vent, you will know what's going on and maybe how to fix it. Hopefully, it'll help out help out anybody that ever ever happens to. Because obviously, this don't happen a lot. I've heard a lot of people say they've never even heard of it. But anyway, uh, hope y'all like this video. A little short video I'm putting out. It's for an update. If you're watching it, you ain't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button for me, please. Give me a thumbs up and uh, turn your bell notification on because if this happens to you, you're gonna wanna know why. And hopefully, after I get it fixed, even though I'm not working on it and I'm not gonna do the work on it to get it fixed, I'm gonna find out why it happened and then let y'all know so if it does happen, you'll know what's going on with yours. Y'all be careful, be safe out there, and I'll see y'all on the next. Alrighty, well, we'll come over here to Dixie Diesel and uh, it's not gonna be a good day. I can tell that now. I guess now I'm gonna go take it to Telhoma, Tennessee, to Dodge up there. They're gonna be able to get look at it and get started. Talked to some guy that said yes, they'd be able to look at it, but they didn't say it was gonna be three weeks before they could even touch it. Uh, that's crazy. I can't wait that. So I'll go to Telhoma Dodge if they can't get started on it now or at least tomorrow, then I guess I'll be making a YouTube video on how to tear a dash apart. Uh, 
I don't want to, but I'm not waiting three weeks either. So it was, uh, I told them that we should have told me that on the, on the phone. I wouldn't have drove all the way over here. Uh, so big name, Dixie Diesel. Heard a lot of good stuff and in, in for information on them, but they are covered up. Uh, just kind of misled me on the phone. But anyway, so we're fixing to head over here, and uh, I guess let's go over here and get started on it. And uh, if I find out, I'm, I talked to C Farmer, see what he thought it might have been. I'm kind of thinking about it on the smell of it, and I'm thinking it may be just a heater core, but that is a big job for the, a truck like this. The whole dash and everything is happening to come out is what I'm understanding. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure if that's going to be the problem or not. Um, I'm hoping that's simple as that. Yes, it, even though it is a big job, I'm hoping that's all it is. And then we're back to road, like I said, 2,600 and... 2,062, 200, I'll get it right in a minute, 262,000 miles on this truck. And so far, it's the first time it's happened to go to the shop. I think it would be an interesting, good video to try to tear the dash apart and um, uh, to do that. And that one might be something that I might try if I had the other truck going where I could work and then still do that just don't want to have to sit there and kill this much time on it because I need to get back to work, especially after ordering that other truck. So we're going to see what we can get to do, go over here, drop it off, and see what they say. And uh, I will keep you all updated as soon as I find out what's going on with it. And uh, so y'all be careful. 